Hi, I'm Matt Plaskoff and I'm the founder and CEO of One Week Bath and today we're going to be talking about the responsibilities of a general contractor. So typically the responsibilities of a general contractor are to coordinate more than three trades on a project. That's kind of a simple definition. However, the more complicated definition really is that the responsibilities include four key areas. One is overall liability for the project and responsibility, liability-wise. Uh, the second is coordination of the trades, coordination of the individuals to actually get the work done. The allocation of resources and, and having the resources to actually get the job done. And then the third thing is actually the expertise to problem solve when there are issues during the job. So kind of in the larger picture, uh, there are two types of general contractors, typically those that will take the vision of the architects, designers, and the design professionals and essentially execute on those designs designs and a typical general contractor will include everything where the client simply relies on the general contractor to find the resources, implement the program, uh, be responsible for the job and make sure the job is built according to the design vision. And then there's the other uh, type of general contractor which would be a design build type team where they're not only responsible for the execution of the design but they're also responsible for the creation of the design and taking the customer's vision, putting it on paper such that the, the construction team can actually execute on it. My name is Matt Plaskoff. I'm the founder and CEO of One Week Bath and we've been talking about the responsibilities of a general contractor.